win a couple dream of a little heartbeat, filling their home with love and laughter. When years pass and they are still waiting to hear the words mom and dad, they search for hope. IVF isn't just a medical procedure, it's a journey of hope, a chance for a dream to finally come true. Now we will know how the slaves could save lives. The husband is entered the sample receiving area to give a semen sample, process it, and examine it. In this stage, the wife is taken to the operating room after receiving the necessary treatment and undergoing the required tests. The oocytes in the fluid are removed from the patient by the doctor, and at the same time, the laboratory searches for oocytes in the fluid, and this stage is called oocyte pickup. In this step, after retrieving the oocytes, they are placed in the incubator, which contain carbon dioxide and oxygen. After a specific number of hours, the denudation process is performed to remove the surrounding cumulus cell from the oocyte. In this step, the oocyte is exposed to the enzyme hyaluronidase, which breaks down the cumulus surrounding the oocyte. Also, in this stage, we know at what the stage of maturity the oocyte has reached. This stage is called maturation. Then the oocyte are injected into the M2 stage. In this step, after the denudation process, the oocytes are injected intracytoplasmic spiram injection with a processed spiram, selecting the best spiram with excellent health after injection. The oocytes are placed in the incubator until the next day. These steps acquire on day zero. On the following day, which is considered day one and is called the fertilization stage, we place the embryos in the incubator and monitor them for five days to observe their division. They are also classified as grade one, two, and three embryos with the grade one being the best. In this step, the necessary procedure are performed on the embryo passed on the patient request, including genetics testing for specific mutation, such as Down syndrome on a chromosome 21, sex selection XY sorting, determining the gender of the embryo before implantation into the uterus, this test provides couples with the opportunity to have genetically healthy children. In the embryo quality evaluation stage, good embryo quality. Embryos are classified based on their quality. And if high quality embryos are found, they are used in the embryo transfer process. If there are additional good quality embryos, they are frozen for later use in case further attempts are needed. Simply put, the embryos are genetically screened. The best one are selected for a transfer to the uterus and if there are extra high quality embryos, they are frozen for the future use. In the laboratory, our work isn't just about science and technology. It's about the hope we bring to families. Every embryo is the beginning of a story, and every story deserves to be told. Through Labs Save Life, we don't just preserve embryos, we preserve dreams and give life a chance to begin.